Wi-Fi has given us the ability to cut networking cords, but if you're not careful, it's all too easy for laptop-toting freeloaders to steal your broadband. On this Insider Secret, we'll take a look at how to secure your wireless network. You've got a bevy of different options for securing your wireless network. There are three different types of security protocols for connecting devices. Depending on how new your devices are, that'll determine which one you can pick. The oldest is WEP, or Wired Equivalent Privacy. WEP is the granddaddy of Wi-Fi security. Typically, you'll only want to use WEP if you're connecting devices made around 2002 or so, and it's been known to be really bad for hackers. They can get in pretty easily. The main device guilty of lackluster security compatibility, that'd be the Nintendo DS. DS gamers can only connect to open hotspots or using WEP security. But WEP is better than nothing though, so if you've got a game, WEP will cover you better than having an open network. Now WPA, or Wi-Fi Protected Access, is the current security standard. We won't bore you with all the technical details for that head to Wikipedia, but WPA fills most of the security holes that WEP left open. WPA and the subsequent WPA2 will keep you the most secure if your network card supports it. Now that you've got your encryption method, let's talk passwords. Typically you want to keep these passwords secure, but not so obscure that they're unusable. My little tip is to create a password of a cell phone number for the owner of the network. Then when you have guests come over, you can tell them your network password, which is your phone number. To actually set it up on your router, it'll vary widely depending on which model of router you're going to use. We're going to head to our router's homepage, which is the gateway IP address. Now to find this, on Windows, head to the corner of the screen where your system tray is, double click on your networking icon, and it'll show you your current connection's properties. On the Details tab, it'll show you the default gateway. On a Mac, head to the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, click on Network, and then double click on the connection that connects you to the internet. Then it'll say the default gateway number on that page. Typically the number will look like 192.168.0.1 or .1.1 or .2.1. Open that URL in your browser. Now log in using a username and password from your router's manual and find the setting for wireless security and click Enable. Now when you connect to your network again, you'll have to enter your password to connect, but you'll be good to go. For more tips and tricks on security, head over to News.com Security Center or keep it locked to Insider Secrets. I'm Randall Bennett for CNET.com. We'll see you later.